convicted killer will soon find out if he'll get the death penalty again. Today, prosecutors and attorneys for Michael Renard Jackson's uh, case rested their case, I should say. More than 10 years ago, Jackson was sentenced to death for raping and murdering 25-year-old Andrea Boyer at the veterinary clinic where she worked in Orange Park. His conviction was later overturned on appeal. Tonight, our Tristan Hardy is joining us live outside the Clay County Courthouse in Tristan. Let's talk about what happened in the courtroom today. Right, Anthony. Jurors heard from witnesses who knew of Jackson more than 20 years ago. Jackson today was seen hunched over his defense table, usually looking down, sometimes covering his face. One of the witnesses was a rape victim in 1986. We don't know what was said because the judge cleared the courtroom before she took the stand. We do know in 1986, Jackson was charged and convicted of raping a teenager at Knife Point at an apartment complex. Prosecutors also called a former detective with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office in 1986. He recalled arresting Jackson himself. He said the man was living in the same apartment complex as the teenage victim. During cross-examination, the defense pointed out Jackson was living with an older woman. She was later arrested for sexual battery. In that case, Jackson was the victim. Prosecutors say Jackson demonstrated a similar pattern of behavior during the 80s and 2000s. When you went to arrest the defendant, did he appear to be upset or crying in any way? No. Would you describe his demeanor as calm when he was arrested for this rape? Yes. Ultimately, was the defendant charged with burglary to a dwelling and two counts of sexual battery? Yes. Now, court resumes Friday morning at 8.30 for juror deliberations. We're live in Clay County. I'm Tristan Hardy, First Coast News, on your side.